Ready for the largest holiday shopping season of the year? I bet you are. There is this excellent feature I need to tell you about, and that is the promotions feature that can be found in the Google Merchant Center. With this feature set up, you'll be able to get your products more prominent in Google Shopping. If your products are already on Google Shopping, or if you plan to run Google Shopping ads, this feature could just be the answer for you to two times or three times your sale and get an edge over your competitors. In this video, I'm going to show you what is Google Promotions, how does it look like, how do you set it up, what are different promotions you can set up, and what are the mistakes to avoid such that you can quickly get your promotions approved by Google and get it ready when this shopping season starts. Hi, I'm Clarice Lin, the RI Doctor, who helps online store owners to scale up profitable Google Shopping ads. If you're new to my channel, you want to check out one of my best free resources, that is the Shopify Marketing Guide, where I go into the pros and cons of different ways to drive free and paid traffic to your store such that you don't 100% rely on Google. Link in the description and pinned comments. Do check that out. Before I go to my computer and give you a step-by-step -step demonstration of how you can set up your first promotion, I'm going to explain to you what is Google Shopping Promotions. Look at how a product would look like after a promotion code has been implemented for your store. If you look at Google Shopping, you can see that there is a special text called Special Offer. If you have set up a promotion in Google Merchant Center, this is how it's going to look like. If you click on this, Special Offer, it will show you what is the title of the offer, which company is this, the name of the store, and the promotion code, which you can copy. And then it tells you how can you apply this code. Enter code at checkout ends in 27 days. Offer will be ending in 27 days, creating an urgency for your shopper to convert straight away if they want to take advantage of this offer. And the shopper can copy the code and continue to the store. Let's take a look at another code. Let's look at Hamperwell. There is free delivery and there is a special offer. Let's click on it. 20% off everything, no minimum spend. Hamperwell, this is the promo code and you can copy. Let's take a look at another example. Right at the bottom of the Google Shopping, there is also another opportunity to show Google Shopping ad. And there are also special offers here. So if you take a look at gift store special offer, click on it. And there's 10% off at the gift store. And there is the promo code, you can copy. Promotion ends in another two months time, which is 58 days and you can click on this to go to the store. The benefits of setting up promotions for your Google Shopping. Your product ads will be more prominently featured. It would stand out compared to your other competitors. After you've set it up successfully, there will be this text that says special offer that sits beneath your product ad. The shopper can click on it and then decide if they want to follow through to your store and apply that promotion code. By setting up this promotion, you're giving the shoppers a time frame of when they should more likely take action. And typically, after you set this up, it's more likely going to get a sale, especially if your shoppers are already in that stage of research and they're finalizing their final purchase. By having that special tag showing up next to your ad, allows them to find the best deals that they're looking for and quickly take action. This feature is only available in 13 different countries. That includes Australia, Canada, US, UK, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, India, etc. If your targeted country doesn't fall under these 13 countries, I'm sorry, then you won't be able to use this feature. There are three types of promotions you can set up using this feature. Discounts, free gifts, and delivery. I'm going to show you the different options available as I go through my screen. So let's check it out. Let's take a look at how you create a promotion in Google Merchant Center. After you have logged in, go to the navigation bar and look for promotions. If your feed is enabled, they will be able to do this straight away. Click on the plus button to create a promotion. You will be able to select the country and the language for where you want to run your promotion for. Other than these 13 countries listed over here, the other countries will not have this feature. Let's say we want to run a campaign for the products in the United States and you'll be able to select the language. 
which is English, over here is a default. And the currency is set. If your products or if your store, their base currency is in USD, this will be the default. And you can select where you want to show this promotion. You can show it on the shopping ads or you can show it on the free listings. And you can take a look to see what are the different promotion category that's available for you. You can select amount off, which is maybe $20 off if you spend a certain amount. If you click on this, they will show you what are the available monetary discounts you can offer. You can decide on an amount off or buy five, get two free, or you can buy five of them at the same lower price at a discount. And there is also the option of selecting a percentage off. If your promotion for percentage number is bigger than amount off, I would recommend you to select percent off. But if you're only having a small percent off, like 5% off or 10% off, but you're offering them a $50 off, it will be recommended to put a $50 off, which looks like a bigger amount compared to a 5% discount. And you can select what kind of percentage off that you want, a discount, or if they buy a certain number, they get a certain percentage off, or if they buy a fixed number, they'll get the same item off at a percent off. Next, another promotion type, which is the free gift. If you select a free gift, these are the three different promotion types. You can give them another free gift if they choose to buy a certain amount with your store or you can offer a gift card. Let's say if they spend $100, you want to give them a $5 gift card. That is also something you can offer as well. Or you can give them a free gift from your inventory. Let's say if you have a sampler product, you can also offer it for free as well. And the fourth promotion type is free shipping. You can decide either you will be offering free standard shipping free overnight shipping or free two-day shipping. And you can tell them either they need to spend a certain amount before they can get that offer or they need to buy a certain number of products. That's up to you. And once you've decided, let's say if you want to offer free shipping, we need them to spend at least $100 before we go to offer free shipping. So you put 100 in and then you'll continue. This is where you will now decide on your promotion title. This is the name that will appear in front of the shopper. As I explained earlier, if it's a 20% off, you will enter here 20% off. Or in this case, free shipping with at least $100 spent. That's where you put the name of the promotion here. This is where many store owners make a mistake and might get their promotion rejected by Google because they have a standardized way of how you need to write this text. Let's take a quick look at Google's requirement. Google has this page that's called the editorial requirements for your promotion title, and you can follow them exactly. What I want to highlight here is your title formatting. First, you will only be allowed not more than 60 characters. And if you're offering a specific currency of a certain value of, you need to mention the currency in your title. If you're doing percentage, then this is not applicable. And your promotions must be concise. It mustn't be too long. It must be readily understood. And the promotions must have proper grammar and spelling. That means if it's in plural form, it needs to be added with an S. So Google gives an example of what you should do and what is not allowed. For example, you're allowed short form for the word minimum because you have only 60 characters. So they allow you to put minimum because it's understood. But if you come up with a strange name, it's not allowed. And you shouldn't use acronym that nobody would understand. Another key thing to take note, you need to use proper spacing. You need to make sure that there are proper spacing between the words. If you use a comma, the letters shouldn't be standing next to each other. It means you have to make sure that your words are easily understood in plain, simple English. Gimmicks like putting spacing between the three is not allowed. You want to use appropriate punctuation and symbols. You might say, oh, can I put exclamation mark to get everyone's attention? No, you're not allowed. You can't use exclamation mark. They don't allow you to do that because it's distracting. And you're not allowed to use additional asterisks like this. Anything that makes it look gimmicky is not allowed. And you should not use short form, for example, using wood furniture for kitchen. Instead of spelling out F-O-R, you use a number form. That's not allowed. And last but not least, make sure that your capitalization is correct. You're not allowed to use all caps 
that is not allowed. An inconsistent capitalization is also not allowed. You can use sentence style capitalization, which is shown over here, or you can capitalize the first letter of every word. That is also allowed. Right, now that we've gone through the basic rules of what to avoid in your product title, let's go next to the promotion ID. You can also enter a special promotion ID here. This will be helpful in the next section. Now let's say you put in a promotion ID that says 43. And if you go to the next section, they will ask you for the promotion that you've decided, is it going to be applicable to all your products? If not, you only want the promotion to apply to only products that have this promotion ID. And that's where you put in number 43 against your product in your product feed. Or you can select a specific filter to select only specific groups of products by item ID, product type, brand or if you have if you offer different brands in your store or item group id once you've decided what's the scope of your promotion you go next to the promotion code as i mentioned earlier the shopper is able to copy and paste this promotion code to apply at checkout so you would put this here last but not least which is important the start and end dates so the promotion can only be set up for a maximum of six months and you select the start and end date and even better, you can select down to the exact time when you want your promotion to kickstart. Take note, try not to set up this promotion a day before you want the campaign to start running. This is because after you create promotion, after you've finished, Google needs to check to make sure that you have everything set up correctly. If Google rejects it, then you need to go back to review it and make the amendments before Google will review it again and decide to approve if you fulfill all their requirements. I hope that gives you a good idea of how you can set up promotions for your Google Shopping campaign. <music> Can you set up promotions if you're running Performance Max? Yes, you can. This promotions feature means that the special tag, special offer is going to show up for all your product ads. And when you run Performance Max, one of the product ads formats is actually the shopping ads. If you are running Performance Max or if you intend to run Performance Max, then this is the feature that you can tap into as well. There are three things I want you to keep in mind that is really important information before you go ahead to set up your first promotion in Google Merchant Center. Number one, do not set up a promotion that exists already on your store currently. It needs to be a new promotion. It is not the tool for you to highlight an ongoing promotion using this feature. This needs to be a new promotion entirely. Number two, the promotion period can't be longer than six months. You can't abuse this feature by using this feature to run an ongoing promotion that lasts for 365 days of the year. This is not the feature for you to do that. Google only wants you to set up a promotion when there is a real promotion, a real deal for your shoppers. Number three, ideally, you should set up this promotion three days before your promotion is going to start. At least three days before. Of course, if you're more well prepared and you want to set it one month in advance or like a few weeks in advance, is okay but you want to set it up at least three days in advance because you want google to have the time to review your promotion and approve it and if not it also allows you to give more time to go back and rectify the errors that you have in your promotion such that you can get it back to google again to review and eventually approve it if you are a last minute person and you only set one or two hours before your promotion is going to start that means most likely that tag on your shopping app is not going to start showing up as what you would have planned or like to have I hope this video gives you a great tool to add to your toolbox to boost up your holiday marketing strategy this coming season. If you want to learn about how you can target your products in multiple countries, how to best set up your campaigns for different countries, you want to check out one of my other videos, link in the top right hand corner of the screen where I talk about how to target multiple countries for your products on Google Shopping. And if you want to get more click-throughs on your Google Shopping ads, you can also check out one of my other videos, 7 ways to get more click-throughs to your Google Shopping ads. Link in the top right hand corner of the screen. If you want to get really prepared, get all your ads to click on when the shoppers see your ads, then you definitely want to check out that video. And if you're new to Google Shopping ads and you're struggling to get some results, then you also want to check out my video to diagnose what's the problem to learn more about. Can you see Google Shopping results after one month or so? What to expect? Check out the video link in the top right hand corner of the screen. This is really going to be useful for you just before the holiday season kickstarts. You want to have all the knowledge possible so you know what's your best step forward to get ready for the 
Christmas season. If you need help to scale up your Google Shopping ads or performance mix, you can get in touch with me. I help Shopify store owners to grow and scale up profitable Google Shopping ads. My contact details in the description and pinned comments. Do get in touch if you need help. If you want to consider to add more alternative ways to drive free and paid traffic to your store without 100% relying just on Google, download my Shopify marketing guide, link in the description and pinned comments. And if you found this video useful, remember to give it a like, do subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss future videos on how to grow and scale up profitable Google Shopping ads. I'm Clarentine, RI Doctor, signing off. Stay profitable.